Hi, this is Adam Stein, Five Minutes of Torah from the BI Rabbi. You can see all around you and right here, some blossoms starting to pop out. Some of the cherry blossoms are coming out now in Vancouver. Really a beautiful sight. We're really lucky to live here in such a, such a pristine and, uh, and, and gorgeous place. There's a video that's been making its rounds around the internet and on news media. A little girl, age seven, Emilia Anisovich. She sings in Russian and she's singing in a bomb shelter in Ukraine, in Kyiv. It's been around about two weeks now, this video. And she sings not a Russian classic folk song or Ukrainian song, but she's singing from the musical Frozen, popular Disney movie, the most uh, popular headline song, Let It Go. And of course, these these musicals, these movies are uh, translated into 48 different languages, different versions for so many different countries. And you can see people in this video, in this bomb shelter, just standing at rapt attention, watching her, listening, filming with their phones, and one person close up filming with her phone, maybe the mother that got shared all over. The shelter becomes silent except for her, for her voice. She was scared at first. She's talking back and forth in, in Russian or Ukrainian. She's worried that people won't be able to hear her and we won't be heard over the commotion in the crowded bunker. But they were utterly spellbound. I got chills just watching. Millions and millions of people have watched this on YouTube and probably millions on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and news sites. She won't know the impact that she made until years later, I'm sure. She's only seven now. But this has been going on for a couple of weeks, this video. But now a few days ago, earlier this week on Sunday, she got her other, maybe kiss with fame, you might say. She sang in front of thousands of people live, the Ukrainian national anthem, in front of thousands in Lodz, in a big theater, Lodz, Poland. Thousands who had gathered to raise money to support people like Amelia, refugees from the war in Ukraine. And to think of so many refugees fleeing to places like Lodz, a place where Jews started settling in the 1700s, by 1879 it had 99,000 Jews, over 230,000 just before the Holocaust, a third of the city's population, the second largest Jewish community in Europe. And of course, it has a history of its ups and downs for the Jewish community, like many places in Europe. The big reform synagogue there, though, was the largest structure in the heart of the city in the late 1800s. It was known as the Great Synagogue. Of course, the Nazis burned it down in 1939. In the 1920s, the Jewish community had a kosher slaughterhouse, a mikveh, education, charitable services, a soup kitchen, Brikor Cholim Society for Visiting the Sick. B'nai Brith had a lodge. There were several yeshivas and schools, Famous Jewish artists and writers lived there, pianists, composers, and poets. It has its own drama companies and theater and many famous Yiddish actors. And now Jews and so many others are fleeing there, back there to a place that was destroyed during the Shoah. Only about 6,000 Jews survived the Lodz ghetto. Amelia saying, let it go, let it go, can't hold back anymore. Let it go, let it go, turn away and slam the door. This is the chorus from the song. Those are, that's the main English lyrics. The Russian is a bit different. They can't slam the door, these refugees. So few places are safe. Synagogues like the central one in Kiev are trying to save people and the Masorti and conservative synagogues and schools connected to our movement are trying to save people as well. Get them on expensive buses and into shelters and out of the dangerous places. In our parasha this week, parasha Shemini, Aaron, the brother of Miriam and Moses, loses his two, two of his sons, two of his four sons. They're zapped by God. We don't really ever know why. They did something wrong. Aaron is silent in reaction. That is his, that is his way of responding. Silent like the people in that shelter. But of course, we can't always be silent. We can't always, as the song says, let it go. Sometimes we have to rise up and sing like she does. I wanna just pause for a moment and tell you that so many people right now around the world, Ukraine, China, Burma, etc., they cannot celebrate their freedom. Every year though, we can celebrate our freedom and see ourselves 
as those who have come out of Egypt, come out of the Straits of Mitzrayim, free and not slaves. At 7.30 on the 16th of April, we'll gather for some schmoozing and then start at eight o'clock for our adult Seder. 4.45 on the first night for the little kids, family Seder. I hope I'll see you there. Let's think now as we close up this video about what this girl sang, Amelia, let go and forget what has happened will not come back. Let go and forget the new day shows the path. I'm not scared of anything now. She sings in Russian. Let go and forget what has happened will not come back. They cannot forget and they cannot let go, but we can hope that what has happened will not come back.